everyone's favorite is back. Kiki Palmer's podcast is back and it's too good. She has questions for days and now she's diving into the brains of entertainment's best and brightest to get some answers. From Snoop Dogg to Jordan Peele to Quinta Brunson to John Stamos to Amy Poehler, Kiki is getting to the bottom of the burning topics that keep us up at night. If you love Kiki, You'll love, baby, this is Kiki Palmer. She's her most authentic self, going all in on everything in her life and the lives of her celeb guest. Follow, watch, and listen to Baby, This is Kiki Palmer on the Wondry app or wherever you get your podcast. And now watch full episodes on Kiki's own YouTube channel. Listen to Baby, This is Kiki Palmer early and ad-free right now by joining Wondry Plus. picture perfect and we are three moms just trying to figure it out together let's get real welcome to the think loud crew podcast today we are going to do another episode shine is freaking me out with this mint that she's playing with in her mouth i'm so sorry i just got distracted are you going to lick your fingers again ah no yes she is she wants to she wants so bad she wants to so bad Oh my gosh, that just no. totally threw me off. But today we're going to do another episode featuring Trav Daddy as our moderator. And he's going to ask us more questions. We're going to play that game again. Do you remember what the game was called? Are we strangers? Are we strangers? We're not really strangers. Oh, just we're kidding. Really, we're not we're really not straight. really strangers. Yeah, people liked this, apparently. So. They liked they did. They you. Liked you. They liked your voice. <laughs> they liked you, Travis. Oh yeah, my voice. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous. Give them what they want. Give them what they want. They want. That's That's right. Let them. Let them have it. You want to jump into it? Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. This is great. (laughs) Shannon. (laughs) The way he was breathing. That was wild. Shannon, what is a compliment you wish you received more frequently? Interesting. Ooh. A compliment that I wish I received more often. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Shit. Um <coughs> What? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> why are you laughing? I don't I just What nothing. are you thinking in your head? Nothing. <laughs> I promise it's nothing. Let's hear your compliment. <laughs> um, 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 um. That I'm doing a great job of being a parent. I think I would like to receive that more, but I feel like I do get that a lot. So I, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Okay. Okay. So maybe you need to hear it more. Yeah. So maybe I do need yeah. to hear it more. So let's get I'll go this. off with what first popped well, Shannon, into my I'll head. be the first one to tell you, you're doing great at being Parker's mom. Thank uh, you. You're amazing. You are an amazing mom. I think it was really heartfelt yesterday. I was doing something and Parker, I just like one of those things that reminded me that I'm doing a great job of like providing mm-hmm. and doing what I need to do as a mom. Yesterday, Parker, I was buying, I, wanted, I went to Home Goods. I was looking for stuff for the cat and um, I hate both of you. I hate that you have a cat. <laughs> you guys, I'm a cat. I'm a cat woman now. My mom keeps calling me no, a cat. No, 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 no. I feel like you need more than one cat in order to be a cat woman. And you... You're a cat mom. You're cat currently... Mom. You're a kitten mom. It's not even in cat status yet. <laughs> okay, there you go. You were at Anyways, Home Goods. At Home Goods. And I was looking for stuff for my cat. And Parker goes, Mom, why do you have to buy everything? Like, you... Why can't somebody else help you pay for stuff? Hmm. She was like, you already pay for hockey. You already pay for so many things for like for us. He's like, you need help. And I looked at him and he was, sh- it was like a legit question. And I was thinking about it this morning. And I was like, damn, I'm a really like, I'm. I work hard for this kid and he's now at the age where he's really acknowledging and seeing my hard work. So maybe I need to hear that more often. That is I'm, a very mm-hmm. heartfelt. And like you are he a great was, provider. Like yeah, you, he was you, so stressed you out. You do it. And Mom. like 
I love this. He was really looking at me. He was like, and he sat in one of those chairs in Home Goods. He was like, ah! <laughs> I can picture him now. He was like, girl, like who else is helping you? He He's was trying to figure it out. He was yeah. really trying to figure out. He because he saw uh-huh. like the. Now it's going back in the, the, the back. Yeah, I can't have it anymore. Cheyenne, I need y'all to I need to give an update on Cheyenne's mint. <laughs> she was removing the mint from the top of her water bottle cap and it dropped on the podcast good. table. So she Oh, that's why sadly you sadly had to put yeah. it back in the plastic and we don't have to watch her lick her fingers anymore. I like the mint, but sometimes it's too strong, so I just like it in small you like doses. It taste so I just it taste up. it and then put it back in the taste and put it back. But Ooh, she's a taster. Shannon, I'll also tell you that I. This is actually for all three of you. I've always mm-hmm. l- admired uh, how good moms you are. Thank Thanks, you. Okay, it. here's the next question for all of you. Can all of you tell me what you're most grateful for in this current moment? What we're most mm-hmm. grateful for in this current yeah. moment? That's right. <gasps> mm. I am most grateful for the ability to receive in this time. And I think that's just in work, in my friendships, in my newer relationship. Like, I think being able to receive was something that I really struggled with in the past. Mm. Um, but now I'm like, let me receive these blessings. Like, I'm just embracing it a lot more. Like, let me receive, like, this love. Let me receive these friends who, like, really care about me. Like, yeah, I think just the ability to receive and not feel guilty about it. Mm. That's what I'm most grateful for. It allows me to, like, be happier and, like, go after more of what I want and mm. know that I deserve it and know that it can be mine. So, I like that. Yeah, the ability to receive without guilt. <clears throat> the ability to receive without guilt. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's a bar. <laughs> Shannon, do you have one? Um, I'm most grateful at this moment for my family. Um, I think since what I've been going through with my brother passing, just having my family and friends so close and like knowing who really like the love from everybody so really 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 grateful for the people that i'm surrounded uh, around right now hmm and what are you most grateful for in your moment in your life right now cheyenne why are all my answers (laughs) why do you keep Chuckling. I don't know why I'm so giggly today. I just don't. I like this giggly mood, though. I don't know why I'm in it. Maybe is today it because should have, today the, should have been the, your spa day. Like, today is the day for you to just, like... No, I don't want anybody touching me right now. My oh, no, your body back. hurts really <laughs> bad. Okay. Um, I am most grateful for in this... Like, are we talking about moment? Like, this moment or, like... Let's say this season, if okay. you like. I like this season better. Okay, my, she needed just, to be clear. I needed, to, I needed the clarification. Okay. <laughs> um, this season, I'm most grateful for community. And that would be mm-hmm. like my immediate community and my extended community and like the communities that I think we have like built throughout this journey, especially with like sharing. Like, I share a lot of my life. Um, but I feel like the community that I've built within sharing my life is special and is, um, it's like, a, it's cool. Like I feel like sometimes I'm on Snapchat and I'm like, I talk to it like I'm on FaceTime with like my best friend. Mm-hmm. And then I have to realize like, girl, <laughs> you're talking to yourself. But then I'll like the swipe time. over and it's like all these people are talking back and we're genuinely like engaging and having a conversation. So nice, yeah. So I'm grateful for that community. Like I'm grateful <clears throat> that I could um throw an idea out and have strangers really sit there and like bounce ideas off with mm-hmm. me and come from mm-hmm. some do but come like most don't come from like a judgmental space or most are just like genuinely like excited for what's going on that mm-hmm. day so yes. i just think it's really cool to have built a community i'm sure it's also exciting with this trip coming up that a lot of these people who are 
quote yeah. unquote strangers are going to be real real friends. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's exciting, but also gives me like really bad and high anxiety. If I'm just being completely honest, that's fair. Because it's it's harder. I think it's harder from. Okay, I don't want to say it's hard. I think it's hard for me because I feel like when people do meet me, they have a certain expectation mm-hmm. of what I'm going to be like. Or how you are. Or yeah. how I am in person because you've watched me on TV, you've watched me on YouTube, you've watched me on Snap. So it's like you Damn, feel... Damn, girl, watching you in a lot of places. Like you, but you <laughs> feel like you know <laughs> me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. not yeah. to be rude, but it does. It feels like, okay, I know who she is. I know what I'm going to get. I know mm-hmm. the personality. And then what if like you meet this person and then you're like, you're like Damn. Damn. <laughs> like I thought she was gonna be so much cooler than that <laughs> or like uh, the personality just isn't what you think it is matching, yeah. you know what I mean so I just feel like that part gives me anxiety of like people genuinely paying money to come and hang out and then what if they're disappointed in like who they think I am well they are not gonna be disappointed right, I was just you are say, an amazing like, person no, I hear like, you like, I understand expectations yeah. of people like I get that I just think I think Again, that I part like, from social, social media, media right. an idea from yeah, you have this I get idea that. that. I've been thinking about that. Built up in your head of what this person's about to be like mm-hmm. and spending, how long are we there? F- five days. Five days yeah. with someone, you know, of course the first day I'm going to sit up straight and tuck my tits in, but then day five, like these <laughs> things are out. tits out and like, <laughs> I'm, little, little I'm hunchback. Right? Like, <laughs> Not hunchback. I'm just like, I feel like the real you comes out day after Today, day after yeah. day. And then what? That is true. I've been thinking about that. Then you'll see that you're a real human and you're allowed to be like a real person. Right, and but you don't then have do you to, leave with like these expectations that are like, dang. Like, and then I you thought, go back. Yeah, you go back and you're like looking at the person like, I thought she was going to be better than that. Like I, that, that part gives me anxiety. Okay, I hear you. And but that's all I need you to do. I hear you. I, that's it. I don't need anything else from it she right doesn't now. Want feedback. I pray that God uh, yeah, I don't feelings. need feedback. <laughs> I'm just expressing how I, I hear, feel. I feel you. I understand it's that. that. Okay. Miss <laughs> R. Okay. Yes, Travis. What do you crave more of? <laughs> oh, what? You heard me. <laughs> oh, you heard me. Um, Wait, there's not a there's not a part two to that question. Yeah, that's wild. I was waiting for like, do you crave more food or snacks? <laughs> <laughs> I was it's open ended. Drinks or like, I what guess just I in life. Open ended. More of. I, what's the first thing that came to your mind? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? What do you crave more of? Is that what it is, Trav? What do you crave more of? Uh, Say it. What was the what first, first thing that What pops? was the first thing that came to your head? <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> I just want to work out more. So I crave No, no bullshit. I crave bullshit. 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 That was not what? the first thing that came to your oh, head. Oh, it was. I'm no, craving I the, call bullshit. I've been talking about working out this morning to, with myself. <laughs> Have you been working and out? Very lightly. Not, so you so crave I, more I'm, of working I'm out? I'm craving the burn that I get when I really have like a good workout. Like that burn that's like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm working out and I need to work out more. Sorry, this is not the answer you wanted in your life right now. Why Shana were you stressed. giggling like that at first? Yeah, I don't think your answer was working out. I don't think working out would have made you giggle and made you blush and smile <laughs> right. like that. She you're was like, like, you're like doing weird things with your tongue. <laughs> Look at so her. I just think that work out was like a nice answer to say, but I don't think that that was a genuine, real answer. But sure, well, she's glowing right, and sure. turning red. If that's the bullshit you want to feed us, I'm turning red. If that's the guys... bullshit that you want to feed us this morning, that is fine. okay. We'll accept. We'll accept it, but hmm. I love that. I don't. Okay, I'm craving more flights in my life. I'd like to get out of here. We're getting out of here in July. I know. We'll accept it. Yeah, but thanks, Travis. If there was a buzzer, we would buzz you right now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Cheyenne. What are you craving? (laughs) What is a dream you've let go of? Oh, shit. (laughs) I like that one. I want to hit her. Sorry, my dishwasher is getting delivered and we're having some issues. I'm filming. I had an answer in my head as if I was Cheyenne just now. Um, A dream <laughs> that I've let go of. Okay, so I really thought that in another life I would have gone to culinary school oh. and I would have been a chef and had like a restaurant. It's not too late. 
I've let go of that dream. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I'm letting you know I let go. I let go. <laughs> he said, I, I, oh my, I could see you as a chef. What culinary school did you want to go to? I didn't get that far in my dream either. Yeah. I just oh. knew I wanted to go to culinary she school. She just saw her yeah. wearing the you outfit. You saw the vision. I yeah. saw the vision of me like going to culinary school and then like becoming this chef and having a restaurant. Hmm. But I feel like that would have, that's for my next life. Got it. I hope I'm there. Me too. I'd like to continue eating your food. Can I ask a follow-up question about that, Cheyenne? Yeah. How, how does it feel to let go of that dream? Does it feel a bit mm-hmm. relieving or does it sort of feel like you are still longing for that? How, how does it feel when a dream like that you, you put to rest? I feel like a part of me feels like I could still do it, which is like the part that I don't like is that mm. I really could still go to culinary school. I really could still try to become a chef and open a restaurant. But I just know that where I'm at and who like the things that I'm doing right now, I just don't think that that's like in my lane. I'd much rather continue to be in the lane that I'm in and have the flexibility to be the mom that I want to be mm. than go back to school. Yeah, which is yeah. tough. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't do everything in life, I guess. No. Nope. But um, I'll just have to keep cooking for my husband. We're just gonna manifest. Yeah, keep cooking Cheyenne's for everybody. Restaurant in her forties. Let's let her get through her thirties. Her forties. I'm going to my sister's restaurant. Period. At her house. <laughs> okay. A question for all of <laughs> At you. At her house. Still be good. For all of you, how would you describe the feeling of being in love in one word? Being in love in one word. <laughs> Exhilarating. Ooh, I like. That is. That was great. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> that that is so fair. Yeah, it's very fulfilling. I like fulfilling. Oh, shit. Fulfilling. You guys are coming off with these good ass words. I don't what are have you gonna one. do, Shannon? What are we gonna do? Give me a word. <laughs> Um, <laughs> robust, mm-hmm. robust. I don't know. Um, you said fulfilling, ex- exhilarating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was gonna come up with a dumbass word. No, I have high hopes for you. Do you always? I can't think of a word, you guys. I think your word is speechless. Speechless. Ooh! It leaves me speechless. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> Travis, I want to play this game with you many more times. I think, your word, said, I think your word is speechless. speechless. Yes, so being in love that? leaves me speechless. Uh, it can. Everyone's favorite is back. Kiki Palmer's podcast is back and it's too good. She has questions for days and now she's diving into the brains of entertainment's best and brightest to get some answers. From Snoop Dogg to Jordan Peele to Quinta Brunson to John Stamos to Amy Poehler, Kiki is getting to the bottom of the burning topics that keep us up at night. If you love Kiki, Yo love, baby, this is Kiki Palmer. She's her most authentic self, going all in on everything in her life and the lives of her celeb guest. Follow, watch, and listen to Baby, This is Kiki Palmer on the Wondry app or wherever you get your podcast. And now watch full episodes on Kiki's own YouTube channel. Listen to Baby, This is Kiki Palmer early and ad-free right now by joining Wondry Plus. Okay. Hmm. This one. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this okay, one is directed toward R. Okay. For Shannon. Okay. Oh. Let me turn R. My what do you recommend <laughs> Shannon lets go of, if anything? Oh, shit. Wow. <sighs> From the heart. I, I am. She's going to make me cry. <laughs> I would, what, is, what do I wish that she would let go of? Yeah. I wish she would let go the feeling of sometimes being like so secretive about things that you're going through. Mm-hmm. Like you feel like I got to do this. Like you, I feel like sometimes you're in like survival <laughs> mode on things and you're like, I got to get through <laughs> this on my own. Like this is my shit to deal with. And I'm like, 
girl, if you don't tell me or talk to me, like, how can I be supportive or how can I be a loving friend or how can I help you problem solve? So I want you to shed that, like, feeling of, like, you have to do things, like, on oh your own God. because we are here for you. <laughs> so that is my my one thing that I truly pray that you let go and Thank just you. receive. Learn how to receive, girl. Thank you. Receive. Yes. I like that. Are you crying? Shane? I was. The only reason, because she has told me this before, and she always wishes she's like wants me to like not be so secretive. I think why I am that way is just because like I like to. I don't know. I don't Shane like gets, to always. She can be very hard on herself. I'm very hard on myself, so I don't always like to let people in and like hear people's like problem solving like Mm shy was saying earlier today like just let me vent Mm -hmm. yeah um sometimes i just like to like vent and not hear Mm -hmm. so sometimes like that's why i feel like i just like you know what let me just keep it to yourself keep it to myself then i won't have anyone like judging or like worrying about me or those things but it is a thing that i should i need to work on what if you approached it like hey I need to vent, and I just want you to listen. I don't want to hear what you have to say. After. We had to learn how to like be able to do communicate with, with each other. each other. Like, hey, do you? Can you listen to me right now? Yeah, like, like I, I, can I, I need dump to talk. on you right yeah. now? Just dump. Yeah, I think yes, but sometimes I get still get stuck in my head. So I need. Mm-hmm. I think in this season, especially, um, I need to learn to just dump and like let people in of mm-hmm. like what I'm going through right now. So, We've yeah. gotten better. Thank you. And there's times when Shannon does, like, she'll tell me something, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so simple, where it's just like, okay, like, thank you for allowing me to be your friend in this moment. Yeah. Like, I know that's something you didn't have to share with me, or, you like, something you could have kept to yourself, no matter yeah. how big or small. But it's like, it, I think it makes me better, too, when you open mm-hmm. up, because then I'm allowed to, like, rather than being like, oh, let me problem solve, like, let me just be your friend in this moment yeah. and just, like like you said, just listen, you listen, know? yeah. So, And it's yeah. nothing again, like, maybe that's something I need to work on as a friend, but I feel like that's with everyone in my life, even my mom and my dad and everyone. So it's nothing against. Yeah, I don't take it personal. Yeah. Thank you, I like that one. Yeah, I love you. Cheyenne. <clears throat> Have you changed your mind about anything recently? Ooh. Look at us. I like these questions. Ooh, ah. Um, have I changed my mind about anything recently? I feel like my answer is going to sound so dumb. Nothing well, is dumb. There's no dumb answer here. Um... They're all like surface level things. It's nothing fascinating. And that's okay. Uh, you I'm changed. It didn't even give you the opportunity to go deep into it. So, what were those surface level changes? I mean, there's just like a few things that are like top of my head. Like, do it. I wanted to go get laser, but mm-hmm. then I had to shave to get laser because I haven't gotten laser in a while. <laughs> and then I was like, I changed my mind. I'm not. You I don't, don't want to like sh- shaving to go get laser. Like, that everything that I'm real. thinking of. Like just so, so what did you do things, to like, remove the hair? I that shaved, I shaved. <laughs> but then I ended okay. up shaving. So then I'm like, fuck! I should have just made the laser appointment. Those are like things that I was dealing with. And then I've been doing this 14 day detox, and it makes you shit all day long. Yeah. And last night I told myself, you cannot do it in the morning <laughs> because <laughs> you have to film a podcast and you have a hair appointment. And what do you look like shitting at Studio 71? And you can't go to Extended Beauty Bar and then shit there too, like. <laughs> You just can't be make shitty all day. So I changed my mind. I was like, fuck, it's going to be I a, think these are great like changes. a 13 day <laughs> detox. And then we're going to have, it's going to be extended to a 15 day because now I can't take the tea until I get home. But then I can't take it in late because then I shit all night. And tomorrow it, we got a funeral. And then tomorrow we got a funeral. <laughs> so I can't be make shitty at the, the funeral. funeral. <laughs> so I'm, those are the things I've been changing around in my head. <laughs> I think those are fair changes. That's like, not surface level. That's, sorry for, if that was too much information for you guys, but. Hey, that that's great. what's happening right now. Yep, those are the changes that are going on. You don't want to be a shitty pants? I don't. Okay. Here, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're glad you changed your mind. Um, here, here's one for all three of you. What has been your happiest memory this past year? Mm, this past year? 
The fact that this year is like halfway through is crazy to me. I'm gonna say the happiest moment for me was Boz graduating from kindergarten and he's going to first grade. And I think that was one of my happiest moments because it kind of marked like a, like we've been home a little bit over a year, Mm -hmm. but it just, despite all the chaos that I felt going on since I left DC and like coming home and what is going on, who am I, are my kids okay? Like it was really happy because it was like, despite all the craziness, like your kid is still thriving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you still Mm -hmm. held something together. Even though I feel like I've been holding on by a thread, it was like, that's one strong ass thread. That's how I feel. And then, oh, what really the cherry on top was at his class graduation, my name was in the special thanks. <laughs> it was so little. But my name was in the special thanks Aww. on the back of the program. And I think I was the only parent. And it just made me feel really good because like, I was able to still show up for my kid in the way that I want to show up for my kid in that moment. And like it was recognized by the teachers and mm-hmm. just whoever I like that whoever did it like yeah Not that end. was a really good that was like a high for me I felt like I was graduating from kindergarten and <laughs> skipping a grade too like we skipped were a you grade, kid. a special thanks because you're like involved in the school and I like I donate things to the classroom I love that Kyle you should be so proud um, of yourself I made us like for the actual graduation I was I'm always like you know is there a photo or something so yeah. I made a step and repeat and like I got the, the theme of the graduation it was really cute I got photos of all of the kids and I, I put like that. all of their faces on it <clears throat> and it was just seeing like all the families and like I got to the school early the day of the graduation to set it up but like seeing the families really take pictures with it it was like it was just a very overwhelming moment where it was like I did this my kid did this like it was almost like what else do you have to throw at me God like I'm, I'm ready to like face the battle and push through and yeah so that was a really good moment for me I like that moment that was a whole day. It was a great day. <laughs> whole day. It was a great day. Then we had a lovely graduation party. I was yeah. over the over the moon. Aw, Kyle. Yeah. yeah What's yeah, your yeah. happy moment this year? I'm really trying to think. I had to go back to like January. I, I didn't Girl, think about all these months. I wanted to look at I my photo roll and be like, a quick "Why are we the mm. same human?" Because I was. <laughs> I went from January, I'm like, damn, like, I can't go through my photos right now. I'm like, what did I do in January and February? Because I only remember this month. February, we had our, our Think Loud crew event, which I think was like a big deal. We wanted huge, to do a Think Loud. That was nice. That was really nice. Focused one. I missed it. I was sad. I'm sad I too. think for me, one of my mm-hmm. happiest moments this year have been Ryder reads to us every night, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the four of us get in her bed, and she just thinks it's like, the Aww. funnest thing ever that we're all in her bed and mm-hmm. she reads us a story and those are always like happy moments for me mm-hmm. i like that i like that sometimes it's just like the simple just yeah family yeah and she's her reading has improved so much so like now zach and i literally lay there and like listen to her read and it just Aww. it's just like cool and then ace like she's like showing ace the pictures and it's the just some, yeah it just yeah. kind of like <clears throat> <clears throat> sometimes I have to see what I prayed for mm-hmm. and like in Love those it. moments I can see what I prayed for oh that made me feel good I think one of my happiest moments this year this year like the year is over but um we're halfway halfway it's crazy um since we're sharing about all beautiful children your happy think, moment does not have to be I about know, your kid but I I know well one of them I have two so One of them is seeing Parker progress in hockey, um, going to Utah with him and him being so proud of himself and going with my dad. I think that was a really cool moment that us three shared together. Um, And just seeing him rank so high with so many people, he ranked like number 23 within um, within 500 kids. So... Damn. I, Go Parker. Yeah, I thought that was really cool and he was so proud of himself. He played so well. Um, that was a really happy moment. And then also, since I was thinking back to January, <laughs> t- 
to the beginning of the year, I think one of my happy moments with us three was the party mm-hmm. and just us having just so much fun and me and Kyle being so drunk and you laughing at us Wait. at Iris's party. Oh, New, New Year's. Year's. You went all the way back. That's the only us first thing no. that popped in my head and I think that New Year's was, was fun. I got I think drunk. We I was were so thankful. So happy. <laughs> That's terrible. I think that was just a really genuine happy moment like and going back to Shy's house and us just like laughing and just being it was simple. Us, yeah. yeah. It was easy. I think those are my happy Aww. moments. Like seeing us being us together is just oh, makes God. my heart happy. I like it when your heart's happy. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's one for R. Finish this Hexy. sentence, R. Oh. Strangers would describe me as blank. Only I know that I am blank. <laughs> Strangers would describe me as bubbly, but I know I am serious. <laughs> yeah, that was real serious at the end. <laughs> you really showed him, Kyle. You go, girl. She said, <laughs> serious. You really showed him. Let's see your serious face. Your <laughs> lip is <moving. laughs> No, but no, it's crazy. Like, okay, so this one time I worked at a gym, and people used to be like, oh my gosh, girl, you're so stoic and deadpan. And I was like, damn, damn, do you know me? And I was thinking, (laughs) and then I had to go home, and I was like, dang, this is not my environment, because I'm like a naturally like, hey, like, I'm a bubbly person. Yeah, you are bubbly. I am bubbly. But you would say you're serious. I think I'm serious. So. I think you're very I think you're seriously need, bubbly. I think you need to look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> seriously bubbly. Yeah, I think you need to rethink that. Yeah, that wasn't a good one. I'll take I mean, that. I don't know. I I could see why you see yourself as serious. I think you are very like on my mind. You have good conversations. You get deep in within conversations. I think that's why you probably say you're serious. I would say you're more oh, focused than people serious. People think I'm very like outgoing, which I am, but I yes, I am very shy. It. Like I'm initially mm. like I am a shy person in new environments. It takes me. <laughs> no, you're like, not, Kyle. You I'm not? you butterfly around the the events, room. parties, the room. You talk no. to everyone. You like to think that you're shy, but you're I not. I would just like to say thank you to my past therapist because you've gotten me out of that shyness. Then because I feel like you're you not. You overcome. probably walk the room more, more than, than me. Anybody. I will for it's sure me. say that. I'll stand in one spot the whole time and Kyle will just. I met everybody. <laughs> yes. And she's like, seriously. Who'd you, who'd you meet? I'm like, the bartender. <laughs> Wait, maybe I missed this. Did R say she was shy? Yes. yes. What? Exactly. No. I am. no, you're not. No. She said, I no, am. No. Let's I'm not letting smile. you try to get with that answer. She, if you want to be shy, be shy. But you're not. <laughs> the Virgo in me can be shy. Okay, here's a deep one. We don't what believe setting? you. <laughs> right. What setting? That was funny. <laughs> a deep question for Cheyenne. Yay. Okay, Cheyenne. <laughs> Yay. What question are you trying to answer most in your life right now? Ooh. What question? Oh. That's a good one. That is a good one. Ooh. What question am I trying to answer most l- right now? To have another baby or not. If she didn't say that, I would have looked at her and gone, Liar! <laughs> <laughs> liar! Liar! <laughs> I think the baby question is constantly a conversation in our household. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. It okay. changes by the hour. <laughs> not by the hour. <laughs> I love this question. This is for all three of you. What would your What would your younger self not believe about your life today? <laughs> the whole thing, everything. <laughs> uh, my younger self would definitely not believe that we have been on reality TV for the past hmm. nine years, ten years, and um, that sure. we that we signed up for it. <laughs> <laughs> we signed up for it. We signed up for it. This is the jo- the and biggest joke. And keep showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and we keep saying yes. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's a good one. 
my younger self, you said, wouldn't believe yeah. that we're not married yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think my younger self, I think as all little girls, we always like dream of like, oh, I'm going to be married at this age. Da, 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 mm-hmm. da, da, da. I think my younger self would be like, what the hell are we doing? But here we are with my beautiful son. So yeah, I think my younger self would be like, what? It's coming. He's it's coming. coming. Amen. I, I believe it. My younger self would be confused how I still live in California and I haven't moved out the country like permanently mm. or like seasonally, there we'll say. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Yeah. All right, I want all of you to describe your perfect day. Wake up, shit. (laughs) Sorry. You don't like to start your day off with a good poop shit in. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, keep going. I'm just saying, that's like the best way to start my day. Yeah. Yeah. No shit in it. No, yes. I wake up and shit, yes. Yeah, it's like a good start to the day. Drink some tea. I want like breakfast in bed, Mm -hmm. but I want it to be like not pancakes. I don't like sweet breakfast. I want a savory breakfast. And then I'd like a driver to come and pick me up. I'd like to stop at the spa, get a nice relaxing massage. I want to get wet, but I don't want my hair to get wet, but I want my hair to get wet. wet? That was like a at wild. the spa. I want to get wet. No, I was thinking, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, you know weird. when you go to the spa and they have all like the bathtubs and like the showers and stuff. Like, yes, I want to get in the shower, right? And I want to get hair? Yes. my hair wet. But I, w- in my perfect world, it won't be wet. Well, like it will get wet, it, but it won't go curly. I it hear will you. Just stay in whatever style it's in. She got that wet and wavy. Yeah, <laughs> like it would just be fine. And then after that, we're going to go shopping and then a nice dinner. I'd like my kids to sit at the restaurant well-behaved like two little angels and not (laughs) ask me for anything. Boring. And just eat their food politely, not ask for iPad, not ask for Sprite. Just sit there like (laughs) two kids and drink their water and eat their vegetables. And I don't even have to say, eat your vegetables! (laughs) (laughs) And then I'd like to go home and get ate out for the rest of the night. That sounds great. Amen. What's your day like? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and I don't want to be touched unless I'm like asking to be touched. I don't want little hands to touch me. Okay, Ace, that's for you, buddy. (laughs) Yo, yesterday I was at Cheyenne's house. Was that yesterday or the day before? before. Ace just Cheyenne's at the stove and Ace just comes over and smacks her ass (laughs) and goes, Yeah! He (laughs) watches his fucking dad too much. (laughs) And Cheyenne was like, Ace, stop. And he was like, (laughs) literally (laughs) trying to like make it move. If my pajamas are loose enough, he'll take both hands under the pajama shorts and we'll go like this on my butt. And I'm like, Ace, get out of there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too the other day. She's like, Ace, Little get boys. out of my shorts. I don't want to be touched anymore by him, okay? That is my perfect day, alright? That is so funny. <laughs> okay, my perfect day first of all starts off with a great night of sleep. So I slept the night before because I got sleeping You're issues. going over your 24 hour day, okay? It- no, my day starts at 12.01am. <laughs> at I better be asleep. I would hope so. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> okay, keep going. Well, <laughs> can you start your day at 8 a.m.? Because now you're confusing me. Just my you woke gonna, up. My now day go is to your day. start at 6 a.m., first of all. I'm going to be up. I'm going to wake up, take a shit too. I'm going to have a really nice shower. Um, and then I'm going to take a bath because I would like to soak. And then I take another shower to rinse off the bath water. And then. Um, then, so this was a three-hour process. <laughs> <laughs> I do all my skincare on Four my hours. entire body. Oh, six hours in. Yes. Your day's gone. <laughs> but if it's my perfect day, my man is the one who's going to rub all my ointments, ointments and s- my shades and my oils and everything on my body. We're now eight <laughs> hours in. <laughs> and she still hasn't left the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful bathroom, by the way. Um... And our chef is cooking, mm-hmm. so I'm now eating. Yes, chef. And I've got fresh juice, fresh fruits that have been picked from the farm of my choice. 
Um, your own farm. Your own farm. Yeah, I really want to live in grocery well, stores. Well, then it's so going to be... It's going to be my farm. They're just going to go to my backyard, my farmyard, mm-hmm. and bring in the stuff. Um, then I want to go on a walk. And then I'd like to walk out to my runway. Where's like, what do the planes go off of? The Pla- runway. The runway. runway. Mm-hmm. And get on my plane and decide, where should we go today? Who has good weather? And we could take the plane... We don't take anything because when we get there, we're going to go shopping Ooh, and I buy like everything. Like we need. Too. <laughs> a plane with no turbulence because PJs, I fucking hate the turbulence. Yeah, the turbulence on. could be a little oh, crazy. Yeah? Yes. Um, but it doesn't even have to be a PJ. It could just be like a very nice plane where, you know. We can come too. I yeah, would can, love can to come? come with my friends and family. <laughs> I want to go on Europe every day. <laughs> after and your we ten hour somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. After okay. you're so clean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone asks people where I spend the most time in my life, it's the bathroom. It's the fucking bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. We know. <laughs> we know this. We know this, guy. Um, yeah, so I'll call <clears throat> my friends and my family and be like, hey, guys, I'm taking the plane out today. Like, let's come. And then we'll all go together and be like, don't bring shit. And then we're going to all, like, you know, there's unlimited money in my world. Um, so we're going to all go wherever we go. We'll go pick a house or whatever, wherever we want to be. And we're going to go shop. And then we'll go eat some more. And then I'd like to do something where, like, there's some kind of entertainment for us. Mm-hmm. We might see a show. Mm-hmm. And Who's the performer? Ooh. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> I love Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> and my family's going to be like, this bitch is crazy. And I'm going to be sitting there like singing I'm going to be like, Barbara. we got on a plane to see fucking Barbara. <laughs> Don't trip. Don't trip. I'm cracking up. And then, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's going to be Barbara. Um, and then we're going to go to a club of my choice. And we're going to have a great time. And we're going to pack, like, we're going to have magnums and, like, Methuselah. We're going to have big bottles. And then we'll get back on the plane, and it's everybody's seat will recline, and we're mm-hmm. gonna go back to sleep, and then we'll come back to my house. This and is then, a long fucking day. It might be two days. Okay. I don't. I, I don't know how <laughs> time a, works in my mind. It's a perfect day. It's perfect day. <laughs> One day. Yeah. No, perfect day is like forty eight okay, so hours. Okay. So now we're back at your house, and now what? And then my driver drives you guys all home, and I, you know, I'm like shy, and I'm about to get drunk down all night. So. Um, wow. I was. I liked your day though. Yeah. Damn, Shannon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My perfect day, I am waking up to a beautiful ocean scenery. Ooh. Like, my room is, like, opening. My doors are opening up to a beautiful ocean. I, I want you to have the bed that moves out. <laughs> Just coming out. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. So, yeah, I'm waking up to a beautiful ocean, perfect weather, to uh, getting a, head in the morning i'd rather have sex in the morning some good mm. sex in the morning and then i guess taking my shit i was gonna say you haven't shit yet <laughs> <laughs> you haven't shit yet I get, i'll take a shit after i have some bomb ass sex mm-hmm. and then i'll proceed to having a, a nice breakfast honestly no i don't want a nice breakfast i want a, the best latte and some fresh orange juice mm. and to walk on the beach in the morning and take a slow stroll in the beautiful whatever whatever beach I'm at. I'm trying to vision this, but it's I'm at a beach and my perfect day. Um, what else? Go to the spa, get scrubbed down by one of those ladies and be in saunas all day and come home to a great steak dinner and go to sleep. Love it. I feel like it wasn't a long day because Kyle... (laughs) We're we're still tired (laughs) from her day. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like I should keep going with my day. I want to add crab legs to my day that are pre-cut. That sounds good. Butter. Like a good, but like we a, need a good, really good chef too. filet mignon and mm-hmm. like with butter sauce. I want to take like, a bath in butter. Can we put that tongue back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared. All I thought about was like butter in my cooch and that did right. not make I'm me feel take good. I'm going to take a bath in butter. Day. I can take a bath with butter and it doesn't go into my cooch. 
in her perfect day show, her hair also does not get wet. But gets wet. Gets wet, but it like, gets it, wet, it, but it, it stays, stays, get wet. stays it looks in great. style. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> okay, those were good. <laughs> Travis sounds stressed. <laughs> those are good perfect days. Um, did you guys review your challenges last week? We're still mm, we're still doing this. These them. two need to step up their game. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we how, wait, how long have we been film how long have we been? It's forty five minutes. Oh, okay. So we can review. Um these two need to get on their challenges. Shannon, you've been killing them. I have them. two photos. We've talked about how I really don't like posting myself. You look amazing. Yeah, you're Every beautiful. time you do, everybody goes crazy in the they comments. Do the- Everybody goes nuts in Shannon's comments. Everyone's like, yes, Cheyenne, thank you so much for making her do this challenge. No problem, it guys. It actually does feel good to post myself and like get reactions out of people because I'm like, oh shit, that's me. I am. I, oh, that is me right I'm there. That's like me. Girl, that's all you need. I really wish you were on Snapchat. You would get all the reassurance and great mommy comments that you need yeah. like to be honest like that's how I feel sometimes I when I have could. a bad day or a rough hour I'm like let me go see my snap fam I know they're gonna pour into me I will shout out my Instagram fam because they a lot of I get so many messages of like thank you for sharing and I love like you know so I will say that like I do get people who reach out to me and give me my my my, my, your flowers my flowers your kudos. my yeah. kudos I got my stars <laughs> and where's your so date so we yeah. have not gone to dinner yet with my dad specifically but we have done things nope. with no, my dad no, nobody it's cares not the so it does, it's not the challenge <laughs> no, nobody cares, nobody cares. But it's like, mine is limited to a very specific day and the last two Fridays we haven't been able to do it so what about this Friday? I'm going to ask dad what the menu is on Friday and ask boo no you poppin'. just go it doesn't matter what the it doesn't menu matter. is. It doesn't matter. I just need to see if he's available. There you go. You said that you or your friend. Me. Oh, I'm telling. We're going out here. Let's let's go eat. He knows the challenge. I think I just want to be a fly on the wall. I just I might. Show Would you like to come I might to dinner? Show up. No. <laughs> and sit on, on the opposite side of the four by four room. No, I might actually. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're like actually invite me. That. Let me know. So I plan on going to the spa next week. Yes, um, you. we need to know which day because so that we can. Mean, I know. Let's let's all coordinate. Yes, uh, because this week it was just too busy. Zach has been working like all day long, and mm-hmm. I have to deal with the kiddos. And Ryder's schedule is crazy, crazy, Special. and Ace's schedule. That boy be having plans. So I've been like working out all their schedules, but next week is the like I blocked out certain weeks this summer where the kids have nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To just so we could do like things as a family and whatever, whatever. So next week is a blocked out week of nothingness, which Ooh. helps me to be able to be more flexible in my own schedule because I'm not thinking about pick up and drop off constantly. Yeah. Love it. So within my own schedule, I have more flexibility to do a spa day and to give my kids to like grandma or something. So. Next week is going to be oh, my I day. Like that. that might be I know that. Parker doesn't go to summer school next week. Oh. <clears throat> so how about... We, we go to Knott's Berry Farm. No. Mm, that wasn't what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, how about we drop both Parker and Ryder off at my mom's. They hang out there and then we go to the spa. Oh, and Fifi will be here too. Haley's coming in from France. Oh, with oh fi- yeah. With her I'll kids, have so. Fifi for two weeks. Yeah. I'm hoping that I learned some French while she's staying with me. You can. I learned some I from her. some French. She taught me some things. Yeah. I, I like this plan. So next week, uh-huh. spa day. Uh-huh. I get to monitor your phone for that duration of time. Good luck. Cheyenne's phone. This is Kyle speaking. Nobody calls everyone just texts this. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle speaking. I left this like a debt collector, but don't answer them. Uh-huh. Um, do you guys have shares or WTFs this week? I have a share. Share with Let's us. hear it, Shannon. I haven't talked about my cat, you guys. You guys, I got a cat maybe a week ago. <laughs> they know about your cat. No, they don't. About yeah, they you do. Showed you us showed us your, your scars. And everything. Oh, I thought that was just that on, was like two or three episodes snap. ago. Mm. It's okay. You can Shannon tell us wants again. to talk about her cat again. So what's, Never the, mind. what's the cat's name? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I have not talked about my cat. So so it's fine. What's the cat's name? 
Never mind. Tell Shannon, us tell us about, about the cat. I don't want to even talk about my cat no more. You don't even you told us the whole story of why you got the cat. I thought I, I thought I. You did. told us the story oh, that Robert okay. got a cat and then you got a cat. Look at Shine over here remembering things. From she Robert's knows. sister. Fine. The cat scratched you. The cat's name is Nala. You just went to Home Goods and got the cat a bunch of shit. Okay. You got to <laughs> do a different share. <laughs> You can retell the story if you like. It's okay. You guys go. How was your week without Parker while he was in Hawaii? I will share that. <laughs> <clears throat> Parker went to Hawaii with my mom and my niece. And um, it was really interesting. Most of the time, you know how everyone's like, oh, I want to leave. Like, kids, get out, get out, get out. But I think at this time, after it was right after my brother's service, they left a couple of days after, and they left me. That's how I felt. They left me. I wasn't invited. But anyways, it was a really good time for me to have me and my own thoughts. And mm. I feel like I haven't been in my own thoughts just because I've been on mom mode. I've been working. I've just been on go. So this past week, I was able to be in my fields. I was being able to just reflect on everything that's been going on in life. And I thought it was actually a really good time for me, a good time for me to have. Um, I was able to hang out with the girls and have a drink and eat and just kind of do me, even though I missed him so much and I talked to him every day. But I think it was a much needed break for me to just, mm -hmm. even though I didn't want to be in my own head, um, I think it was needed. Yeah. It was needed for me to cry. It was needed for me to reflect on whatever emotions I was holding in. So, um, that makes sense. I didn't, and I expected myself to like go, like everyone's like, oh, go somewhere, do this, do that. And instead, I literally just laid on my couch and watched shows and did nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think I really needed that instead of like trying to go to oh clubs and God. like, I did go out for Juneteenth and it was a very interesting experience. <laughs> I went to two bars and got a little tipsy and I was in Inglewood at old bars with older men and it was very interesting. One man came up to me and said, I didn't speak to this man. He was like, thank you, sweetheart, for hanging out with me. And I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely did not hang out with you, but okay. Here's my bill. But yes, here's my <laughs> bill. Like, <laughs> whatever. But um, yeah, I think that was the only time I went out. But it was a good time to recharge, release, and just... Be in my own. Be How long do you have your niece? She's out here now. Yeah, so she was a week with my mom in Hawaii, and now she's back, and she's staying it till Friday. Oh, okay. She was going to go home today, but then we were hanging out, and I guess because I was buying her stuff and being a nice auntie, she was like, oh, I'll, um, <laughs> I'll leave a little later. And I'm like, baby girl, you can go home now. so funny. <laughs> How old is she? She's 15. Aww. So it was really cute to hear her like she fell in love with like a little boy in Hawaii and she was like she, she was like oh my god Auntie Shay Shay she was like he is so mm -hmm. cute and she's like I stalked him on Instagram <gasps> she said she went through a whole rabbit hole of finding him she was like and then I went to this page and then I went here and then I went there and then I found him <laughs> I was like, and she made a she even made a private account to find him to follow him. <laughs> Where's he from? No, I would, Hawaii. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> he was one of the performers at the Polynesian <laughs> at the Culture Center. And he was doing like all the Hawaiian dancing. And she was like, that's him. And Parker my was man, cracking. My man, my uh, man. I was like, to be young again. She was like, and I went. She's like, I was up all night trying to find him. I was like, Dang, home that's, girl. That's pretty good that she found him, though. Yes, but she... Literally went to her, his friend page, this page. It sounds like Kyle. Kyle could have found I him, I can too. find anybody. <laughs> That's what she said. She's like, I'm so... She's like, yeah, and I just found him. I said, wow. Go, girl. I can find anyone. And I recently met this guy who's like a private investigator. Like, 
internationally. And I'm like, he said, if you ever need anything, like, just ask. And I was thinking, he's about to be my guy. <laughs> he's about to be my guy. <laughs> What's yours? Yes. Um, do you have one? Do I have one? Yeah. Um, I feel like the past, like, few days have been, like, a what the fuck for me. I fell outside Thank in my girl. backyard, and I thought the back of my leg was broken. Where mm-hmm. did you fall? Like, in between, like, the big pool and then our jacuzzi. I hit, like, a, like this. Like she was saving a. So, like, the back of my leg is bruised really bad, and then the inside of my leg is, like, bruised really bad. And I was really debating on going to the ER, and that was my what the fuck moment, because I was just laying there, and I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Aww. How are you feeling now? Um, uh, it's still sore, but it's not as sore. But Aww, it definitely, like, I still I say that to sleep with a pillow in between my legs. Mm-hmm. And it hasn't been fun, but I'm fine. Oh, well, I'm, happy I'm not supposed fine. to say that. Travis told me to stop saying fine. I am okay. Is that better to say okay? If that's the honest feeling, yeah. You could say I'm healing. I don't feel like I am, okay? <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay. I'm not healing. I'm okay. I'm thugging through it. Um, I've had a rough moment last week. I was really missing my kids, but then I was, you know, I talked to them. They're fine. They're having a great time with their dad. Boz is now in camp. Zaire has been on his potty training journey, and Aww, he's been I literally like peeing and pooping in the toilet. He's so happy, and he's like, "Mom, I did it!" Like, and he's been wanting to show everyone. So, like, that was my like little low high. But I'm just very grateful right now because I've been having, like, I think just really nice, peaceful moments with, like, my family and, like, my village and my friends. And it's nice that my friend, like, doesn't mind doing family things with me. Um, Because I know in the past, like, the guys I've dated, like, it was like, why is, what is going on, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Like, why is this man here? Or he'd be like, why am I here? Like, just not understanding that family. Like, family is very important to me. Yeah. And I love my people. And, like, we love each other. Like, we really, we really go hard for each other. And it's not surface level. So, I'm grateful that I have, like, a partner, a counterpart in my life that gets along with my family. And, like, now I feel like I can go do stuff with Cheyenne and Zach and it's like I'm not going in with anxiety of like, oh no, how is this gonna, how is this situation gonna play out, or like, am I gonna be on pins and needles? But it's like, let's go, babe. Like, let's yeah. go eat. Let's go. We've been playing board games. Like, yeah, it's they. Been fun. It's just it's been a lot of fun. So I just feel really grateful in this moment to feel like I can one be myself and have like my different worlds like all be in one world and like coexist and be harmonious and that makes sense yeah i'm just in a like my season of gratitude is just like off the chain right now thank you so yeah that's where i'm at all right i like it it. all right guys thanks for tuning in to another episode of think loud crew we'll be back next Monday again with another episode of Think Loud Crew. Uh, I feel like next week we're going to want to try to do some speak pipes so we'll post the link for you guys a few times yes. so you guys can send us over some speak pipes and you can share something, ask questions throw out a topic um, doesn't really matter let's yeah. let's just engage let's with you guys in, yeah. like uh, don't forget to follow us on Think Loud Crew on Instagram and on YouTube and you can follow me at Shy Not Shy you can follow me at our Kyle Lynn. And you can follow me at Hair by Shannon C. <laughs> and don't forget to tell your crew about, about our crew. crew.